Hey guys, welcome back. So in this video, we are going to see how to make the my orders page and fetch all the order and its details in our my orders page. So previously we had made the checkout page and inserted the order and order items. And let me just show you. Yeah, so once the order is inserted, our cart will be cleared. And here is the code. So we have missed one thing over here. Uh, before deleting the items from the cart, when we are inserting the order items, right, we need to reduce the quantity of that product's stock. Let me just show you in your products table. You have this column called quantity, right? So if you have this product of 20 quantity and if I buy five product, then this has to become 15. So let's just add that quickly over here. Say dollar update qty query is equal to update so first we need to fetch it right so let's fetch that first dollar fetch or say product query is equal to select star from products table where id is equal to we have the product id right so you can directly give it over here prod id copy and paste query run is equal to mysqli fetch mysql query and pass the connection and the product query okay so here we are just selecting one product right so you can give the limit equal to one over here limit one and instead of running the for each loop you can directly get that say product data is equal to my SQLI fetch array and in this you can give your this variable over here okay so you will get the single record so now if you try to access this yeah product data of qty you will get the current quantity of that product let me say current underscore qty okay so new qty is the current qty minus the product quantity which the user has purchased okay so we need to update that product update products set the qty is equal to within single quotes give this new qty variable and then we'll give the condition where id is equal to dollar prod id okay so make sure it is within this for each loop or else your code is not going to work update qty query run is equal to mysqli query dollar con comma update query okay so the quantity will be updated now let's test it once refresh let me see the first product is redmi note 7 go to collections mobiles note 7 and i will just remove this laptop We'll take three quantities proceed to check out just fill some details say place order order placed and we are redirected to our my orders now we will just fetch that okay so before that we'll just check if this quantity has been updated so it was 20 right so it becomes 17 yeah so that is working correct so now we'll start with fetching this in the my orders page so close this page
and here is my my orders page so over here we can we have the user functions right we'll write the function over there and then call it over here you can directly write it over here also that's not an issue but your code will get a bit messed up so we'll just maintain it in this page itself okay say function get order items or just say get orders orders okay so over here we'll pass the connection and we'll take the user id also okay and then we will write the query now okay so dollar query is equal to select star from orders where user id is equal to the dollar user id so by this we will get all the orders so let's write the query run is equal to my sql i query dollar con dollar query okay and we have to return this yes so copy this and go to your my orders page and over here you can just open php close php get orders and store this in a variable dollar orders is equal to get orders so if dollar orders say so my sqli num rows of dollar orders is greater than zero then we are going to show that else we are going to say say else echo no data available or say no orders yet whatever so if the order is there then we are going to loop through it say for each okay and in this for each we are going to pass the orders we don't require the key say as item so we will display the thing in a table view right so first we need to create the table body so let's do that over here say table dot table and t head so the heading is going to be id and then the tracking number and the price let's keep the date and time okay let's say date or you can keep ordered at or ordered on anything and what else you can keep let's see in our orders table have the tracking number and payment mode all these things we can just show in the order view so this much is enough to show over here so once the t head is done we'll open the t body then tr and then td okay control x so after the t body just paste this over here and this tr we are supposed to loop it so divide the php okay so this and the first td we have the id right so just copy this say so dollar item of id and then you have the tracking number tracking number 
and then the price and the created at okay and one button over here let's say view or you can see yeah keep view over there and over here we'll keep a dot btn here you can just give the button name as view details btn primary and in the else part just copy this and divide bhp and instead of so many td just remove that and over here i'll say no orders yet and in this td just say call span is equal to we have five right yeah refresh so it says some shown price its total price yeah and this table will just add some class to that table bordered table striped yeah so we have fetched the order list over here so next time when you just place an order you will be redirected over here and your order will be showing over here or if you want you can just print this in a descending order so you can just do that over here a order by tesc i mean id yeah now when you refresh you will get it in the descending order so that's it in this video guys we have seen how to make the my orders page in php so thank you for watching this video please like the video and subscribe to the channel thank you